Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy and in today's lesson we're doing example solos on the tune Sunny. So as ever, we're going to be breaking this down into three skill levels for beginners, intermediates and advanced level players. First of all, you should get yourself the free PDF for the beginner version and that's available at onlinesaxacademy.com and the link is down below. And over in the premium library, you'll have access to the intermediate and advanced level PDFs along with the backing tracks and performance tracks for all three versions. Now we're going to be doing Sunny in the key of A minor, which is probably one of the most popular keys that it's done in. Now this puts us into F sharp minor for the alto saxes and B minor for the tenor saxes. For the beginner version solo, I was only using the F sharp blue scale for alto saxes and the B blue scale for tenor saxes. So I'd recommend you get to know this scale, get it under your fingers, be able to run up and down, preferably from memory as well, so you're not having to read the notes. And that's going to really help prepare you for when you then start to try and play these example solos and even improvise yourself. Now when you're taking this more horizontal approach, it allows you to focus a lot more on your phrasing. So of course, as ever, you want to play with good clear rhythm, good articulations. One thing I notice with some students is they tend to end up slurring everything when they start improvising. So don't forget to use your tongue and to really articulate the notes, particularly in this kind of style of jazz. But in terms of phrasing ideas, one of the most powerful ones you can start to play around with is the idea of repetition and variation. So of course, you can just take a small fragment and literally just repeat the whole thing, or you can repeat that with a slight variation. So in my example solo today, have a look through and see where I'm using this technique of repetition with a little bit of variation, as it really helps to keep the listener engaged, as it doesn't sound like just a constant random wandering around the scale, but you can hear the repetition in the ideas, you can hear the slight changes, and it makes it sound a lot more composed and intentional. Okay, so here's the beginner version. Now the idea with the intermediate version is I'm sticking with that blue scale, but now I'm also going to be using some of the chord tones from the chord sequence that's passing by and locking in with those. And that can bring out some new areas to explore in your lines. So these are the chords that are used in Sunny for both alto and tenor, and we've got the chord tones, the one, three, five, and seven for each of those. And so your first job will be to memorize these and be able to smoothly go up and down the sax playing through those notes. And then it's a case of using those specific notes when you land on that specific chord. Once you've memorized these chord tones, when you go through the intermediate solo, you'll be able to see where I'm using the chord tones and see how it matches up. And then you can start to do similar kinds of things in your own solos. So when you get into this more slightly sophisticated level of improvising, using these chord tones to outline the chords that are going by, you can also use your own judgment and taste as to how much of that you want to use. Sometimes it's nice just to chill out on the blue scale and play something horizontal. It's not necessarily the case that the more detailed your lines are, the better it is. Try and look for a balance between the horizontal approach of just the blue scale and the more vertical approach of outlining each of those chords. Okay, so here's the intermediate solo.
Okay, so for the advanced solo, I was trying to use some more double time language, meaning we're using some 16th notes. I'm obviously using the blues scale, the chord tones. I'm also using some elements of jazz language and licks that I know, as well as using some common techniques like chromatic passing notes and enclosures to add a bit of chromaticism so we're not purely playing diatonically, which is just notes within the scale, but we're starting to get some of those nice in-between notes to create interesting tension and releases. So if you're more of an advanced improviser, have a go at trying to use maybe some licks or language you know over the 251 chord progressions and start trying to use some chromatic passing notes to link together some of the chord tones. All right, so here's the advanced version. Don't forget to head over to onlinesaxacademy.com and check out the memberships I have on offer there. With the premium membership, you'll have unlimited access to everything that's in the premium library, as well as unlimited access to the courses page, where I currently have two courses, one for music theory, explaining about what all these chord symbols mean and what kind of scales you can use over them, what kind of techniques with improvising you can do to build interesting lines, and one for ear training to help you recognize the sounds you're hearing in music. And along with that, there's the private forum where you can connect with other members. You can also ask me questions and even post up videos of you playing. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons. And I'll see you guys next week.